Hey, yo, what is going on, you clumsy cloth? Today, we're taking a look at a Lugia V-Star build that I think is actually the best way to play Lugia V-Star that I've played with in this format. It's the Iron Hands build. I mean, I know the Chinchino build of Lugia also had Iron Hands, but this one has two Iron Hands, and it makes a pretty big difference for how the deck is built and how the deck kind of feels and functions. The original build comes from Alex Shemansky and Alex Kreckler, who played at NAIC. Shemansky was able to get a top 32 finish with the deck. I, this is not their exact 60. I have made quite a few changes from what they actually played at NAIC after I played with the deck a decent amount. Uh, but yeah, no Chinchinos in this build, and it feels quite a bit better in terms of consistency and like over almost overall power level of the deck. Um, so we can't take big one-hit KOs with the Chinchino because we don't play it, but we can take more two prize knockouts on low HP Pokemon with the Iron Hands. There's two Iron in Hands in here. Of course, we still only have that one Legacy Energy as a special energy that we can search out with Archaeops, but there's two basic Lightnings and an Earthen Vessel to be able to use more easily find those basic lightning energy and also gives us more ways to discard cards namely the Archaeops of course that we need to get into the discard pile as soon as possible to actually be able to set up the energy in play and we aren't out of ways to take big one hit KOs we do have a weird air V in here which is 40 damage for each energy attached to it uh, and then when it's ability when it goes from the bench to the active you can take as many energy from your other pokemon and put it onto the weird deer so we still have ways to like one hit ko a charge rdx or a dragapult but our main way that we're drawing prize cards is through the iron hands uh, the iron hands amp you very much and we do have two of them in here um, so we can use that multiple times and pick off those low hp pokemon that is on our opponent's board to create a prize lead or to close out the game or whatever it might be um, so I've tried to make this build as consistent as possible. I've got a 4-4 Lugia in here, a couple Great Balls to help find the Archaeops. The fourth Lugia V-Star should maybe just be a third Lugia, or excuse me, the fourth Lugia V-Star should maybe just be a third Great Ball, because uh, it can find the Lugia V-Star, but can also find stuff like the Archaeops or any of our other Pokemon. I uh, also have two Mezagoza in here. Being able to bump Sinnoh is pretty nice. Sinnoh's not really that popular right now. Honestly, I could see maybe cutting the Mezagozas for Great Balls, because giving our opponent Mezagoza is not great, but the Mezagozas are pretty solid overall, and Temple of Sinnoh is out there. Now, we are a little bit more aggressive in terms of putting two prize Pokemon in play, so we don't really need to hold back on putting Luminion in place. So there's two Luminion in this build. Help us find that early draw supporter. And then with the Iron Hands, Amp you very much only doing 120 damage. Fighting bosses orders is super important. So we can bring up those low HP Pokemon off our opponent's bench and actually get a two prize KO for our turn. So there's four bosses orders in here. And on top of that, there's also an Iron Bundle. I wasn't sure how I would feel about the Iron Bundle after I initially took the licks the list from uh shamansky took Sh shamansky's initial 60 but the iron bundle has actually been pretty sick so i would definitely keep it in here uh, and there is this drapeon v in here i know some of you have probably already asked in the comment section what is the drapeon v for it's the ko guardy ex because uh, without the drapeon v we'd have to resort to using weirdier to KO the guardy x which is a pretty um pretty inefficient attack i guess i would say overall because iron hands is such a good attacker into the guardy matchup we can also ignore the guardy ex and just boss around it and use iron hands more uh, that's also a pretty good strategy they do have a lot of low hp pokemon on their field but depending on how we actually draw and how the situation develops we not, might not be able to get enough energy in play to use the weird air because generally when the guardy ex is in the active on the guardy side of the field it's because they counter catch or ko'd an archaeops so a lot of the ways the uh, generally the way the matchup plays out is we go turn two iron hands knock out a pokemon get two prize cards and then depending on the situation where the guardy player is at they'll probably respond with attack of their own whether that be the Screamtail KO and Archaeops off our bench or Gardevoir EX, Countercatcher KO and Archaeops. And once they remove that Archaeops from play, it can be hard to get enough energy in play to actually use Weirder to want to KO the Guardi EX. So that's where the Drapion comes in with the Dynamic Tail. For the Guardi EX to attack, they have to have built up some damage on themselves. So we can just use our other Archaeops to get two double turbo energy out of the deck onto the Drapion and then Dynamic Tail, knock out the Guardi X, getting ourselves two more prize cards. And now we're just two prize cards away from winning the game. Our Iron Hands would still be set up at that point because they would have chased our Archaeops. So they'll probably have to set up another Guardi EX to be able to set up another attacker to do something on their turn. And then our Drapion can KO that or our Iron Hands can KO a one prize Pokemon to get our last two prize cards from there. So the Drapion is really important for the Guardi matchup. One of the most powerful decks right now, one of the most popular decks right now. So you definitely want to be rocking the Drapion. If Guardi falls off though, the Drapion could probably get cut. And we still have an Ursaluna in EX in here as well. Super efficient attacker in the mirror match. Also up against stuff like Maridon and Raging Bolt is also a super important attacker. The Raging Bolt matchup is pretty tough uh, without having the Chinchino line. I actually think Lugia is favored against Raging Bolt with the Chinchinos. Without Chinchinos, I'm not gonna lie, it's a pretty tough matchup. We can still do stuff with Iron Hands though. They put down Squawkabilly and Greninja pretty aggressively. And then into the late game, we can use the Ursaluna mid game we still have one hit KO potential through the weird year so it's not a terrible matchup but i do feel like it's tougher without having that one those one prizes to rely on 
in the late game. And of course, Lugia with four non-double turbo energy. Tempest Dive can still KO the Ogre Pond, so it's still doable there. Uh, rest of the list here, like I mentioned, we got the four boss, two Iono, two Carmine, two Research, a decent amount of Pokemon Search cards, and then 17 energy in the energy lineup. Could maybe cut an energy from here. Uh, so of course we have the four gift and the four jet we also play four double turbo in here combos really well with iron hands amp you very much lugia of course with the tempest dive it works really well with, and it's really really good with the weird ear of here so four tur double turbo in this build of lugia makes a ton of sense feels really smooth of course you want the four jet uh, no v guard energy in here which honestly through the games that i played with the deck so far is a card that i've missed a little bit not sure it's worth trying to include back into the deck uh, the mist energy of course are still really powerful up against stragapult so you don't want to cut back on those i don't even know where you'd find room to get a v guard in here maybe you cut a gift energy gift energy are a little bit less important i would say in this build of lugia compared to the chinchino build because we're not attacking with one prizer so our opponent's going to KO less pokemon to win the game usually two to three before the game is already over at that point or two three pokemon that would have gift energy so the fourth gift energy could maybe be cut if you're looking for like a spot to fit in like a v guard or a third mist or something like that um, I'm trying to think of like what other energy exists in the format that you'd want to include. There's really not that much else, to be honest. But yeah, really sick build of Lugia. I think it's better than Chinchino. It feels better than Chinchino, that's for sure. The Chinchino build feels way clunkier than this build. There's not even that many differences in terms of the consistency cards, to be honest. But just like because of the double iron hands, because of the basic lightning, if we would prize our legacy energy, it's just so much easier to create high level, high threat level Pokemon. Whereas like the Chinchino takes a lot more to set up. We're a lot more reliant on having double Archeops in place, stuff like that. We need a lot less to be able to really pressure our opponent through the Ampu very much than we would a Chinchino. And uh, with that said, let's jump into some action. I'll show y'all how this deck how this deck runs. Pretty good opening hand, I'm not gonna lie. We do lose a lot of gust effects here, uh, but I think it's gotta be worth it, right? It's okay to go down these gust effects. Yeah, the follow-up is not as good to be honest but we do have luminian for support potentially i think we just pass from here See how it goes double chops kind of good yeah you can't really complain about putting two chops in it. but we do only we only have one boss left that kind of sucks but uh if we just drop a lot of prize cards really fast we'll be fine it is the not to build as well all right, all right. Okay. I could have played the Capture and Aroma to like play for a Tails, to be honest. I maybe should have played it to put a hands in play. Got hands, got the Ultra Ball. Ah, it's still pretty good. Um, the Legacy's in my hand. That won't matter though. No, that'll we'll be fine still. Yeah, I and mean, we got the we got the hands knockout. Protecting against the Ogre Pond, which we don't play. Honestly, I don't hate the idea of playing it in here. They just have more threats like that. Okay, that's a good top deck. We're not complaining about that. We can go we give you star I mean star oh I should probably attach the basic energy though right and keep the legacy in the deck yeah that makes more sense right here because that way if they like I own our next turn then I can pull lightning energy out of the deck through the legacy um and then probably throw I don't know what should I put on the active here double turbo gift I don't know if I need a gift here. I don't know. I could use it later, though. I should basically... I kind of want to Ultra Ball away the Drapion in this, but I don't even know what I want here, to be honest. Because I could go for... Uh, Weird Ear is not very good here. I could go for Boss. So I can, like, go Boss. I can Ultra Ball for Luminian for Boss to amp again. If the third boss is in the deck. And if it's not, hopefully we pull off the prize cards. I kind of don't like this arena in here. I kind of want it to be a fourth boss. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, we got some... Oh, the bundle could actually go hard here. The bundle could go kind of crazy. What's the reason of Weirdier in this deck? Just one hit KO the active. One hit KO Dragapult. One hit KO Charizard. One hit KO anything. Or the potential to one hit KO anything, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, just the potential to one hit KO. I mean, in this matchup, you could go like hands, weird ear, hands. It gives you like another way to like, if you don't like have a gust, you could still possibly do the weird ear play instead. Lapras, ho -Oh EX could be interesting. I saw someone mention the, I mean, the ho -Oh with just like the glass trumpet could be good though. How do you go double hands? Uh, by lo just loading two up and attacking with back to back hands. There's two hands in the deck. 
Well, in this situation, they're not going to KO my hands because they're playing Dragapult. But yeah, there's two there's two Iron Hands in the deck. Hopefully the Iron Bundle... The Iron Bundle working out here would be kind of sick, to be honest. Not, what? Dude, this game is over, bro. They don't even have an attacker this turn. Wait, what is this? See, what are they doing? They're just giving me two more prize cards with my hands? Dude, pack it up. Pack it up. Just get him out. Get him out of here. Oh, okay. All right. Hold up. They got a little bit more. They got, but I'm still getting two prize cards. I'm not stressing. I'm still getting two prize cards. All right. Not too much to work with there. That's true. That's true. I kind of want to put like gifts on everything. So they have to trigger a gift energy at some point. Well, I guess I'll play. If I get tails on this, then I'll load up a second iron hands, I think. I think I'll load up a second Iron Hands if I get Tails on... Well, but I could hold it, though. The thing is that I'm thinking is I could hold this. And then if I get Tails, then it becomes Lumidian, which becomes Boss, which becomes Win. So I don't know if I want to play the Capture in Roma, to be honest. We'll see what a top deck. We'll see what top deck. We'll see what we top deck. I probably should just hold it, to be honest. Eh, well, yeah, I mean, we'll see what the top deck is. We'll see what the top deck is. They did kind of, you know, they kind of got the squad loaded up here on the bench, though. Okay, I can play one. Heads. I think I do take this. Increase my odds of top deck and something else, right? Because they're not going to get a prize card next turn, theoretically. Should I play this one? I think I should wait, right? What do I have left in here? Some mists, some gifts. Put a double turbo here. And then off this one, I don't know. I could grab like a... I kind of grab like a mist and a gift and put it onto the Archeops. Or I could just like leave them both in the deck. I kind of want to go like mist gift on Archeops here. I don't know why. Uh, maybe just a gift. Like what if I would just put a gift on Archeops? Doesn't sound that good either though. Maybe I just leave it. Maybe I just leave it on the deck. Uh... Dude, I actually just don't know here. What do you got? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven energy left in the deck. I'm like thinking about the idea of like having enough energy and play to be able to use a weird year to win the game, but also I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it matters. Let's take one more out. I don't know, man. I don't put a I'm gonna put a gift on Archeops. I'm gonna put a gift on Archeops. I'm fine with this. Let's take the knockout. It's fine. So we went with Ultra Ball Luminion. Maybe the Iron Bundle wins us the game if they don't evolve anything, but we'll see. That would get the that would give us game with Weird Ear if we get Tails here. But Tails with here also gives us Luminion for Boss, so that also wins us the game. Uh, but now if we just draw into Weird Ear, I guess, like that gives us the game as well. Maybe I shouldn't have even played it. I did play this aroma, but the more I'm thinking about it, I probably just shouldn't have played this aroma. Yeah, I probably just shouldn't have played that capture in aroma, to be honest. I do want to leave my mist energy around as well, so I can put them in play this turn to like play around some shenanigans from my opponent. They're going counter catcher here, which means I assume they're going to counter catcher this, but. But then I can win with Weird Ear. Well, I have to retreat into it, I guess, but we'll see. We'll see. Why'd they send up Draco? I guess they want to accelerate energy there. Oh, they have Rescue Board in hand. They do, right? I think they do, yeah. That makes sense to send this up then. Try and get the, the draw off the Clairvoyant sense. We're so far ahead, though. I don't think it's going to matter, but we'll see. Okay. Do they have hand disruption? Well, honestly, in this situation, I almost want them to disrupt my hand, though. My hand kind of sucks, right? There's a counter catcher. Okay. Sure. We still have so much time to get two prize cards. I like don't have to win this turn. I'm just gonna push up Lugia and we'll see what we top deck, I guess, and see how the like, capture Roma goes. But I can like mist energy stuff as well, so they can't like take spread KOs. And everything has a gift now. So if they KO anything, I get to draw cards. And this has a gift on it though, so if they KO this, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that, I'm okay with that. They used Arvin. Oh, did they really? 
Well, that was last turn though, right? Not this turn? Did they play Arvin this turn? Am I trolling? Oh, they did. It was literally the first thing they did. Jeez, I just wasn't paying attention, I guess. All right, sure. All right, so we just see how this goes. It's, that's not what we wanted. Like a Lugia V-Star. I just play the Iono now? I do, right? I don't even like play the Jet. I just play Iono and see what we draw. And then we just like punch with Lugia, I guess. And we could win this if we get uh Iron Bundle. I guess we just take it. Should I bench it and load it up is a question. Or just wait. Punch. So they punch my active. They punch this, they KO it, they trigger gifts. Oh, but they could have like an enhanced hammer here, right? Enhanced or Sinnoh. That'd be annoying. So I want to like go get a misses with If they go Gust KO my Archaeops. Punch. Spread. Load up. Bring up a new one. Punch. Spread. I kind of want to miss energy on my active to be honest. The only thing I can think about is like I kind of want to miss on the active so they can't like punch it and then spread KO it later. I don't even know if this is worth it though, but I like that, I guess. Yeah. We still have a ton of time, so I'm not like feeling too pressured. Like this thing also KOs this at this point, so they have to set up a fresh Dragapult this turn. Um, oh, I guess they could attack me with Radzard. No, they could Radzard me actually. But. I mean, the big question is just, do they have a... Well, they probably play an Enhanced Hammer, right? We could lose this. We could lose. It's, this is definitely losable. Definitely losable. I could have benched his other Iron Hands, but then they could have gone like Radzard, Countercatcher, KO. That'd be kind of annoying. I think this is correct to like force them to play around my gifts. Leaving the gifts in play like this, or like forcing like them to trigger a gift energy feels... Best. I also maybe just shouldn't have played this great ball to be honest the more I'm thinking about it because it kind of shuffled my deck If I get iron bundle there, I do win though So that's like the question is it worth playing for the potential of the win there through iron bundle or am I so far ahead that I should Keep the composition of my deck better on the top half by not playing it would be the question there actually um, Which maybe I should have to be honest. Maybe I should have um There goes though I, didn't mind, I wouldn't have minded like keeping the composition of my deck better and hold the great ball there, to be honest. Because I'm in such a good spot overall. But... And then also, like, the great ball, if I get Illuminian next turn, would also win me the game. And there's the Arvin. So if the hammer's in the deck, they get it here. But they need to get to Radzard or a new Dragon Ball here as well. in the forest. Okay, it looks like a fresh dragon pulse being set up. They are taking they aren't taking a knockout this turn as well. I think I'm gonna bench this hands this turn and load it up. And then punch their active here. I'll bench it. Arc you have some energy out of the deck. Um let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We could KO them with uh, weird deer. If we draw to the weird deer off the car mine as well, we have a decent amount to draw into here. Um, it did not hit. What are they thinking about? All right, here we go. Yeah, I think bench hands, load up hands. What else am I saving the energy for? There's nothing I'm really I'm saving the energy for, right? All in on the hands. Interesting. What does this set it up for? One more over here. Is it still two hits away? What? One here. Well, the miss here might work out. Okay, we got to research. So we have more outs now. All right, bench hands. Out some energy. 
Which double turbo legacy, right? I think so. Research, draw a couple extra cards. And we win with Bundle. All right, we got Bundle. Or Weird Ear, right? Weird Ear also wins, but we'll hit him with the Bund. Bund's duel. I was seeing if we had an option with Jet or not. I forgot if we had the option. I feel like I know that though. <laughs> Sometimes some of these things are like, I know this. I don't even need to like look, but I go look anyways. Triple hands, easy dub. Honestly, this build of Lugia already feels way better than uh, the other Lugia deck. Honestly though, this deck seems like it has a because then it allows you to gust as well in the turn or try and draw into it. You're not forced into like a Thornton uh, scenario. Um, well, we'll see what we can do in this matchup, though. I mean, I'm assuming this is Raging Bolt. It's going to be tough. I'm trying to think about how I want to tackle this, actually, to be honest. I guess, like, technically, Legacy Energy gives us a third two prize Pokemon, right? Um, oh, it's Reggie Drago. Ooh. Um. But they don't have great ways to want to kill a Lugia V, right? I'm trying to think about what that deck has. So Lugia V is actually like a decent attacker in this matchup. Um, it has bolts. Yeah, but they can't want to kill like a bunch of Lugias. Lugia is like probably our main attacker in this in this matchup, to be honest. Okay. I kind of just want to grab another Lugia V and bench it. Um, oh, we have a weird air one KO potential. Okay. Um, let me think for a second. How do I want to tackle this? I kind of just want to grab this and then read the wind, but... Huh. Yeah, that seems fine, right? Is that better to do? I don't think so. That is fine. Does bossing this ever make sense? Probably not, right? Read the oh that was weird. All right, read the window away the jet, I guess. All right. Sorry. Right. Yeah, I think we will just set up three Lugia V stars to be honest. I did give them Mezagoza. I didn't really need to give them Mezagoza, I guess. No, but I want to get like the extra Pokemon, right? If I end my turn with just like one Lugia V in play, they just like knock it out. And that feels pretty bad. And I just lose. So. This is correct to just give him access to it. Let's see what we top deck as well. Are they going to punch me? I thought they were going <laughs> to attempt to punch me with the ogre. Oh no, the moving that energy makes sense. Okay, that's also fine. Not stressing, not stressing. So we just want to draw prize cards fast. So our prize chart, our prize trade could be. What could our prize trade look like? Our prize trade could look like boss KO, boss KO on like double ogre pawns or Drago ogre pawn and then one hit KO with weird air, right? So if we get heads on Mezagoza or top deck Lugia V-Star or Ultra Ball, we can just go boss KO. Um, and then next turn off the gift draw after they probably KO us, we just go boss KO again or weird air KO into boss KO. That would also work, I guess. That's going to be the plan here. Uh, just gust around it. Or if we have to hit through the active, I guess that's also fine. Like hitting through the active isn't terrible. We can go punch, punch, boss, boss or something. Or punch. Yeah, punch. If we punch them twice, it's not terrible. Um, we'll also see how they approach it as well. Because like they could KO me here if they can find Raging Bolt. But they're probably not going to do that. Probably not. We'll see. Yo, so would you drink hot chocolate or coffee in a stormy afternoon? Uh, hot chocolate. Yikes. <laughs> That's not great. 
Uh, no good attacking options. I mean, they can use Dragon Laser. They can grab double. They can't even double Ultra Ball out of hand. They have two cards in hand. All right, good luck. I'll let them figure it out. We'll let them figure it out. I'm not stressing about it. But it's not great, that's for sure. They don't get a big attacking option. They don't get a big attack off. They get a little baby attack. Honestly, if I could just like knock this out this turn with Weird Air. Oh, but then I can get responded to with a Myriad Leaf. I probably don't want to do that, actually. Well, I guess it depends. How many energy do I need to KO this thing? Uh, I don't need that many. I don't think I'll be able to get there though, right? Portable turbos. No, I don't think I'll be able to get there. Oh, now they put a Mew in play, which is even an easier knockout for me. They grab Ultra Ball and Vessel. Oh, true. They could have grabbed Ultra Ball Vessel. Yeah, true, true, true. That would have worked. I appreciate the tier one's up there. Worth. Going to the Rat Pack. Dude, four superiors. We got, we're all out of superiors, but we got plenty of, what the heck? Oh no, wait, they got one of those off the legacy star. Okay, that makes sense. They legacy starred for it. Does it show you what they got off it? It just shows me, oh no, no it does show me what they get. They got a nest ball and that, okay, yeah. I mean, I guess it's still hitting for like the 100 plus 30 snipe is still like decent, right? It still sets up for their like follow-up knockout. So it's not terrible. Yeah, it's not terrible. Definitely not terrible. Not where they want to be, probably, but. Oh, I guess their their board is actually set up for me to iron bundle. Yo, the iron bundle is kind of crazy. We're gonna win two games. Well, the first game we didn't need the iron bundle. But the iron bundle actually is pretty good here. It's pretty good. Well, let's see if this gets heads. If this gets heads, we just boss. Boss care of the Mew. Pretty good. We're kind of cooking. Kind of cooking them out here. I could evolve the bench one and retreat the active. Does that make sense? They currently don't have a way to KO this one, but they could KO this one. I guess that does kind of make sense, right? Um, the thing is, I don't want to attack with... I don't want to have prize. I guess I should check my prize cards. I don't really want to attack with a double turbo Lugia V Star, so that way I could go Gus KO, Gus KO, possibly. If I can pull Boss or Luminate off my prize cards. So let's go with Primal Turbo. And I'm going to get a double turbo and a gift. So I'll put a gift here. There's one boss prized. And no Luminian prize. Maybe an Ultra Ball, maybe an Aroma. Yep, there's a boss. Okay. I'm gonna throw these here. Patch mist. I'll bench this as well here, I think. Primal turbo. I just get like a gift and something. Gift mist. Seems good. I want this thing to be able to go for the big one at KO. Should I KO an ogre pond here instead then? That removes energy, removes energy acceleration. This is like their main point of draw power. I can KO the Mew later with like something else. Huh. This is their biggest source of draw power though. Get rid of the Mew. Sure. I don't really want to send up Ogre Pond to me anyways. But this would be like an easier KO for me to get with a third Lugia later on. I maybe should have left the Mew to be honest. I maybe should have left the Mew. Probably discard the stadium, right? I mean, it'd be cool for me to have it next turn, I guess, as well, though. I could have left it. I'm not sure about that, to be honest. Should there be a miss instead of a gift on the active? No, because if they go after this to KO it... Oh, I didn't even think about that. No, there definitely should be a gift because of... Oh, I forgot. Oh, okay. I, may, I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. <laughs> yeah, I see. You know what? Shh, don't say anything. Stop talking, gamer. Stop talking. Maybe if you stop saying things, other people in chat won't notice. Yeah, we definitely should have had a mist here for sure. Yeah, I kind of undervalued my mist pretty heavily there. Undervalued slightly. Also, I just don't like this Serena. I think I'm gonna cut the Serena for uh, uh, another boss. Boss just seems like so ridiculously powerful in this build of Lugia. Um, 
I think boss is just insanely powerful in Lugia in general, but it seems even better in this build because we are like a more hands focused build. Oh, cringe, bro. I can't believe I did that. That was so bad. It should have, should have been a miss. It should have been a miss. Could have been a miss. Could have been me. Could have been you. All right. I'm not sure how we're going to approach this from here. I wanted to go. Oh, wait, I can go Gus KO because it's a V. <laughs> I can go chase this. But they could win with Gus KO KO. Oh, my goodness. No, this one has Mist, so I can't KO this one off the bench with Mist. Okay, okay, okay. So Gus KO. Gus KO is the plan for me still. Okay. Yeah, the Trina Drago actually works out here. I want to put a gift here in case they do Gus KO this thing. Wait, how does Legacy work? I actually don't know how Legacy works. Mm. So if they do have, like, Enhanced Hammer, I lose, I guess. Oh, no, no, wait. This thing has missed. They need Sinnoh. I think they need some ridiculous stuff. We we're probably chilling. Um, I'll just, like, throw these here. I kind of just want to bench the Weird Ear. Throw some energy on it. Like, bench weird ear. Primal turbo to it. I, we're cooking. I mean, we're just cooking out here. Give me, give, me a co give me a gift. Give me a double turbo. Sure, sure, sure. And I can't accelerate lightning energy, so I feel like I should attach the lightning energy here. If they eye on me, I can get the double turbo back out by other means. So this makes the most sense to me. The Taiwan tournament stacked? I don't know. I actually want to look at the energy count in this. How many? There's like, what, two mist in here? But I'm like misplacing my mist energy, so it's just kind of on me. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of on me to be misplacing my mist energy here. All right, looks like we're in a pretty good spot. Well, they're not playing the... Well, who I'm up against here is not playing the top 16 list. They have triple... Wait, do they not have three superior? No, they have triple superior, jamming tower. They're already playing like a different different build. Wait, actually, I have the list pulled up here already. What do we have? Four gift like that, four double turbo like that, four jet like that, two basic lightning makes sense, legacy, two mist, yeah. 12, 30, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 energy. I could see like cutting a... Uh, yeah, it makes sense, it makes sense. We have game. Yeah, we have game in a couple different ways. Dude, I hate that. I need to fix that animation, bro. What, is that with every animation when you take things out of the deck? Or am I like, is that literally every animation when you take things out of the deck? How much are we doing? I was like pretty sure we're not gonna active. One, two, three, four, five. Five plus six minus 60, right? 2K plus the queue is like four minutes. Is it really? I haven't really been up there at all. Charizard, all right, that's fine. We can like uh, be behind a turn. This will be fine. Ooh, I should have played the great ball first. I'm kind of trolling with this to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. It's fine. So what's the thing to think about here? Well, this is, I just want to thin out. Like, I don't want to put our iron hands in play really. Are they really going to have like turn two? Candy Zard boss maximum belt? They could, right? I don't really want to put an EX in play because of that. Um, I'm just thinning out cards. I think I should thin out this Archeops. Great ball. Fail. Fetch. Research, I guess. 
That's what I'm like thinking about here. Do I want to mention a Lugia as well? I actually don't hate the idea of putting on a Lugia in play. Want something else to discard here? Yep. So we wanted perfect. Love it. Get rid of the Drapion this time around. There's no reason to keep the Drapion, right? I'm not like, tripping on that. Yeah, getting rid of this makes the most sense in my head now. Any chance I could try a Greninja Frostlass deck? Not today, probably. Eventually, for sure, though. How much do you think uh, preference for a deck style? Uh, I'm better with or prefer aggro decks versus more slow paced decks should factor in when choosing for a deck for a tournament. Um, um, I mean, not, I mean, it's, it's like such a weird question. Cause it's like super like individualistic. Like if you just, you should just like, generally you should just play a deck you enjoy playing, um, a good deck you enjoy playing. You shouldn't just play like bad decks. If your goal is to like get better and actually do well at tournaments. But like, if you like, uh, if there's like. Dragapult, if, let's say Dragapult and Maridon are both tier one decks, and it's like, uh, you think Dragapult, let's say, like, they're both good decks. Like, let's say, say Maridon's a tier two deck, but Dragapult's a tier one deck. And it's like, you understand that. And those are the, and you're looking at that, and you're like, oh, I could play Dragapult. Um, or how do I want to, like, even think about this? Hang on, let me play on my turn real fast. Dude, what the fuck is this hand? <laughs> what is this hand? We're just reading some more wind? Uh, we are just reading some more wind, right? I, mean, I could KO a Pidgey, but KOing a Pidgey doesn't seem very good. I feel like I'm reading Wind here. On this Lugia V. Dude, so much energy, Jesus. It pushes six months there. Uh, Piplup TCG. Um, yeah, let's say Dragon Ball's a tier one deck, but you don't like playing it, and Maridon's a tier two deck. Uh, and you enjoy playing Maridon, you like Maridon, then I would, like, if they're both good decks, I would say you should probably just play Maridon, but it's really, like, dependent on you. Like, if you just enjoy the process of getting good with good decks, then you should probably play the deck that you think is better for the tournament, which would be, like, Dragapult, theoretically, right? So it's, like, really individualistic, but if you're going to be miserable and not have fun getting better at Dragapult, then you're probably not going to get as good at Dragapult as you could get at Maridon by the time the tournament comes around. No, it's like super individual, indiv individualistic. Like theoretically, you always just want to be playing the deck with that best, the best expected win rate that's like available. But yeah, at the very high levels, doubt it matters. But for all the League Cup warriors, yeah. Dude, what is this? What are we doing here? It's too many energy to like discard with the car line. <laughs> Am I just reading the wind again? Yeah, I think I am, right? Just more wind to be read. On the Carmine, I think. I'm just gonna attach this here. Dude. <laughs> I mean, we're getting somewhere. We're get we are getting somewhere, finally. This took a while. It's like super awkward, though. I don't even know how, how I'm gonna play out of this hand. How many energy do I need to KO with the Weird Ear? If I have 10 energy, we're going to have 400. And then if we have uh, three double turbos, so 10 energy with three double turbos gets a knockout, right? So that'd be like minus 60. Okay. We could do that, right? We should be able to make that work. Um, why am I not doing Great Ball for Archaeops? Because I have two Archaeops in my discard pile. I have three. Wait, did they just draw again? Bro, what are we doing here? What is going on? <laughs> How is this the game right now? <laughs> All right. Um, I mean, boss KO. I don't want to boss KO run. I don't want to use my boss. We're going to do this first. Dude, I have like plenty of Lugia V-Star and like the other guys in here. What the heck? All right, Mazagoza. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get it. Iron Hands or Lugia V-Star shirt. Dude, I had four Lugia V-Star and then I whiffed. That's just like, that's just cringe. I, it's just, that's, that, that's gotta be cringe. Oh, I didn't check my deck very well there. All right. I think the Iron Bundle's not very good anymore. This could be good. Let me give the basic lightning. Cause I'm gonna jet up. I didn't see if the legacy or the third double turbo were in the deck though. Ugh. Oh, I'm gonna hope it's in there. I should have checked my prize cards at some point in oh, okay, we got everything. 
Oh, but then I can't get a gift on this if I jet it up. Evolve this. Bench this. No, I jet up. No, I could. It just involves all my Archeops on the one thing. Yeah, because I could get like unfair stamped or something on this next turn. So I definitely want gift on my hands. Honestly, getting rid of the lightning actually maybe wasn't that good in case of like unfair stamp enhanced or something. Legacy gift, yeah, 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 okay, so legacy gift, and then I'll put a put a mist up there too. I just don't want to not have a gift there, because then if I get like I own order, like I mean, there's like a lot of things that could happen that I wouldn't want to have happen. We're chilling now though. Dude, what a, what a stupid game this has been so far though. <laughs> like, <clears throat> what a stupid game. Okay, we got hands lightning. I assume that with their 14 card hand and potentially heads on my Mezzagosa, nope. they should be able to put together a candy Charizard at the very least. I would expect more from them though. I'd also expect like a, I don't know, candy something. What do we play? We play 17 energy in this deck, right? And 14, 15, 16, 17, yeah, yeah, yeah. One, five, 12. We have four. We have the double turbos, though. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So there's four energy left in the deck. Can I actually get the knockout with Weirdo here? I can, right? I think I can. Uh, yes. Yeah. I'm gonna go with yes. I don't actually know for sure, but I'm pretty sure I can. Right? Push this up. Put down the deer. Going after my chops. I mean, if they have enhanced hammer here, this does. This seems like a good. If they have enhanced hammer, this seems like a good play. However, um, actually, my weirder can come swing through right now. I could just weirder this to be honest. That almost seems like the best play. Four, five, six. Uh, what did I say? I need. I have nine energy. Uh, if I have nine energy. I need 10 energy still, even with two double turbos. Hands up. Four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, five, uh, four. Legacy to the weird ear. I don't want the legacy on the weird ear, right? Is it even correct to attack with weirder here? I guess it's still a question I'm actually asking myself, to be honest. It feels like it's correct to attack with weirder here. If I have 10, 400, if I have all three double turbos. Minus 60. But I hope I don't do this math wrong. <laughs> I'm not doing it wrong though, right? Um, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten times four, four hundred minus sixty. Three forty six seven eight nine ten. Dude, right, well this should be. I did it right. But like, I'm just like, I'm like second guessing myself this whole time. Boss Pidgeot might be better. I mean, I don't know. Like, Weirder, Weirder is like the hardest Pokemon to use in the matchup for sure. Like, Weirder is the hardest thing to get value out of. So I just like feel like attacking with Weirder here makes the most sense. Yeah, that's why I like the Weirder attack here. Because I feel like it just makes the most sense. Like, it's the hardest thing to utilize for two prize cards is Weirder. So when we have the chance to use Weirder for two prize cards and we check their attacker in the same turn, it's like, okay... You ha and yeah, they have to respect Weird Air, right? They can't ignore Weird Air. Whereas, like, they can ignore Iron Hands and they can ignore Lugia. But Weird Air, they have to respect. Um, yeah. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure if that was the best KO. Also, it lets me conserve a boss, right? Which, like, boss is my win condition later in the game as well. Um, like, conserving a boss is also, like, a good thing here, I feel like. So. And I have one more boss on my deck to draw into to win the game on the Rotom or Iron Hands KO something else, you know? 
Do I have an energy in my deck right now? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There's one in the deck, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's one in the deck. Why does double energy in weirdier? Wait, what do you mean? Count as two, but one on Chinchino because of how it's worded. It all just comes down to how it's worded. It does 40 damage for each energy attached to this Pokemon, where Chinchino does 40, 70 damage for each energy card. So it's just, it's just, it's Pokemon is very simple. You just, if you just read the card, like usually that will tell you why something does something. But yeah, Chin Chinchino is energy card, Weirdier is energy. So this is two energy on one card, but it's not being restricted to one card. You can't go around. You don't go around weirdier. You can't go around weirdier here, right? I mean, they did it. Oh, shoot. Wait, it might work. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Hold up. This actually might work for them. Like, there's no way you dodged the deer. No, I got boss. Not even. But actually, for a second, I got kind of scared there. I'm not going to lie. The stadium, though. Oh, no. Their own. St oh, wait. They have, they have to road them for a bump. Their own stadium almost bodied them here. That's actually funny. Yeah, because they they were exhausted of everything there, right? If they didn't draw to four steel stone off the Iono, they actually just wouldn't be able to attack. Oh no! Do they still not notice? Rip. <laughs> Well, they actually, they, I don't even know if they play vacuum because they have a jamming tower right here. It's maybe just a jamming tower. <laughs> oh, no. Not like this, Timmy. That's funny. With a Mr. Treat. I mean, yeah, we have, I could. I guess I could have opened up boss to, like, to show my game. Here, bird. Yeah, I guess a question there would have been... Um, a question there also would have been, I guess, is <clears throat> if I attacked with hands instead, how likely would I be able to pull off a weirdier play on a following turn? Because I could have gone with the hands knockout or even Lugia. I could have gone Lugia knockout Rotom for two prize cards. Or like turns look like this, where it's just like, thank goodness I went second. Um, Because your opponent's always going to have like a decent turn. Maybe we should just like play the Iono and depending on what we draw in. Because I could draw into Jet, Jet Lugia, right? Yeah, we should just have the Iono first. We did. We did. Um, we shouldn't need either of these. We give the Jet up. And I honestly, I actually want to give up the Mist. The Iron Bundle actually seems really good in this matchup. We're just using hands a lot. So I think I keep the Bundle here. I'm going to get rid of the Mist here. We'll see how that uh, plays out. It's also a good chance that I would want to play like another jet here or something anyways and like jet something up. So, with that. Do you prefer Lugia Chinchino hands or Lugia hands weirder? This version has felt better so far, but I don't really have like a, I'm not like set on one over the other. How do you build your own guardy list? Um, so many options. I don't know where to start. Been playing for six months. Just pick a list to start with, whether that be your own list or copy someone else's list and then Try out other stuff. Like even if what you're playing with feels, even if what you're playing with feels good, just try out the other stuff that people have, are doing that you haven't tried out yet, and then see what you think feels better amongst those things. And let's go from there. They could theoretically knock out my Lugia V here. I guess they could get <laughs> attach double gate or triple gate and Blood Moon knockout. Pretty scary. You feel like poison is actually going to be good in the upcoming cards? Yep, I think it's actually going to be broken. It'll probably have to get banned. Some some of the cards will be have to get banned for sure. Are they cooking that hard right here? Not yet. I'm, I'm feeling like we're probably pretty safe here. Um, <clears throat> the fact that you asked the question means you already know the answer, Billy. Oh, they could still get there. There have to be a lot of gates in that hand, but they could still get there. All right, cool. Um, 
we just go what evolve research now just give up on the iron bundle probably don't want to clog up our bench all right well we can still get the hands knockout i just joined my fault well no but the fact that you know that lists are are in the discord means you know where the list is the list is always in the discord I mean, I could stop, but I'm gonna start with this. We can thin out a card that's not an Archaeops, and then we could, well, what if I get an Ultra Ball though? Shoot, maybe I should have stopped first, actually. Oops. <laughs> I should have just stopped first then at this point, yeah. Cause I was thinking if I get Tails and I get to something out of the deck, but, but now I just, yeah, now I'm just gonna go for it. Pretty good. Get another thing out. Cause I might want, I do probably want double hands. Or I want the potential, the potential possibility of the double hands. We have legacy double turbo. Yes. I should have just ripped. I forgot about the ultra. I was like thinking about just discarding it, not thinking about the other way around. So it was definitely a misplay. Play it that way. It's all right though. It's all right. We're cooking. We're cooking. No gift. That's fine. I don't really need a gift on this one. I'm not feeling. Too stressed about having a gift on this one. Get up. I can start to load up the other Iron Hands, or I can put some energy in the Lugia. What are they going to respond to my Iron Hands with? The only response to my Iron Hands is the Ursaluna. And if I want to kill the Ursaluna, I'd have to respond to it with a Weird Deer. So I just want some energy built up in general to be able to respond to this with a Weird Deer. Or potentially use another Iron Hands, depending on what I get off my prize cards or top deck. I could another Lightning Energy his hands again, but I probably want a Weird Deer more than anything. So I'm just going to load some energy on my Lugia, I guess. That's fine. The gift missed. Damn. Yeah, then if they go uh, Ursula, then we can go Weird Ear Knockout and then just go from there or something. Our own Ursula won't do it. Or we could just gust around. Like I said, we could gust around it with hands, but we probably just want to answer it immediately and then go from there. This is the Ratless Lugia, yes. I mean, first felt correct, but you're Azul, you're never punished. True. No, I definitely should have stopped first for sure. Um, definitely a mistake. Next time though, next time though. Yeah, I kind of like, I tunnel visioned on, um, I tunnel visioned on like the, the, the thought of milling Archaeops with stop and not getting Ultra Ball off stop, which means that I might want Archaeops in my hand. But with that in mind, uh, we wanted, we want the potential to have an Archaeops in our hand, which means we shouldn't play the Aroma yet and we should just stop first and then we get an Ultra Ball, we hope we get heads. If we just mill Archaeops and we're set up and ready to go. Drapion is for knocking out Guardi EX. Dude, I need to make a command at this point, bro. <laughs> I need to make like a command. People want to know, bro. Where does the Drapion go? All right, they're still cooking. They're still cooking. I just want to keep saying for Mu V Max. Yeah, it's a Mu V Max tech. It's just in case, just in case you play against someone who's playing Mu V Max, you have the Drapion in there um, to answer them. You know, just in case, you never know what's gonna happen. You never know when someone's gonna whip out the Mu V Max on you. And you don't want to be a, you're not going to call for a judge in that situation. You know, you don't want to be a snitch. Like the only thing worse than oh, there's nothing worse. Yeah. The worst thing you could do is be a snitch. So for your own, uh, integrity or whatever, you can't, you have to bring the, the, the drapey on just in case, just in case someone rolls up with it. We can't be snitching out here. So I guess they're killing my, my Lugia V-Star here, which isn't something I really thought about them doing, to be honest. Maybe I would have put one less energy on it, but it makes sense. Do they have Prime still or no? No. Oh, no, yes. I mean, yes. Ooh, that's kind of annoying, actually. That's rude. That's cringe. Rude, it's cringe, it's annoying. You name it, it's it. So what's my game plan at this point? 
Um, I could just boss around. Oh, I could just boss KO Spirit Tomb, right? And then I get... Well, they can, like, recover it, obviously, but I think it's probably the play. Get a gift on this hands. Boss KO. Um... I could kill this with Ursaluna, I guess. Maybe that's actually better. They're minus two now. Oh. Ursaluna KO, this is actually probably the play to be honest. I just conserve the hands, actually. I like that. That makes it awkward for them because they need a Gust again to actually get two prize cards on their turn. Oh, and I got the Iono. Dude, I just drew like insanely well there. What the heck? Oh my goodness. Am I cheating? Oh, but I want a gift on the hands just in case, right? Because I could go boss KO hands. Uh, they could KO this as well, but this can't KO anything else. I probably should get a gift here. How many energy do I have left, though? I can make it work. Gift here. Jet this up. Jet this up. Iona. Iono. I could bench this hands. Nah, Iono. Because I could go bear KO this thing, and then in that case, I want to be able to draw cards. Yeah, so I want a gift here. So, Iron Hands is on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I might need access to that Lightning Energy as well, though. I don't know how I'm going to get access to the Lightning Energy. Also, Lumini is on the bottom of the deck as well, I guess. All right, yeah, I'm sure it seems fine. I can get the. But all my. I don't have that many energy left though. Maybe this wasn't the correct play. The more I think about it, the more I dislike this play. To be honest, I think I should have gone with the hands boss. Actually, I think I should have gone hands boss knockout. Um. Yeah, I should have gone hands boss knockout. I think. I like the idea of having. Well, no. But the, so if I go hands boss knockout, they respond to my hands with Ursaluna. And then, but then they have the Raikou in play for my Ursaluna to go after. Is what is the play? Is I like that. But now if they go Ursaluna K on my hands. There's not a two prizer in play for my Ursaluna to KO. So even though it's at the cost of a boss, I think I should have gone hands KO Spirit Tomb. Yeah, I should have gone hands KO Spirit Tomb. There's another Pokemon they have to recover. Stop my Luminion. And then if not, maybe I just have another boss anyways. Yeah, I like that a little bit more. I like that a little bit more. I guess we still bench the Ursaluna, but. Why knock Spirit Tomb and not Comfy if you boss KO hands? So I can go uh so I can possibly go Luminion to find boss again. Um Oh, yeah, that's true. My Lumini is also turned off now, yeah. The Spirit Team stops Lumini. They could still get, like, super hard recovered, of course, but force them to have that play. It gives me the possibility of using Lumini for boss. What's the deck that can be played right now that'll make new players better? Literally any deck. Just pick a, pick a deck that you like playing and get better at it. All the decks. This ended up getting closer than I thought it would be in general, though, to be honest. I thought we were, about to, we were, gonna, we were gonna be cooking, but it's actually kind of close here at the end. One, two, three, uh, five. 100, 180. Do we have enough energy left in the deck to actually KO this with? Not to KO this, no way. Okay, well, now we just would boss. That's a dub. They couldn't even win in two turns, could they? We had like plenty of time here. Yeah, the other play was definitely better though. This play was like okay. Also, this had legacy energy as well. So even if they KO this, we have like an extra turn to play the game, to be honest. I didn't even like I forgot about that. Like triggering getting our legacy energy to trigger there would have also been uh would have been pretty nice for sure. Right, I'm gonna go make dinner chat.